want you to build on the story that you was telling me before about how you got the scar on Yo, your man. That was a that was an incredible story. I can story. show it to you. You wow. know, see all that? From here to up here. All that's rat bite. Rat bites? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 1948. I was born in 48 in September 4th, on September 4th. And approximately three months after that birth. I guess I was in my crib early morning, as moms and pops told me. And the rat must have, he jumped in my crib, but he must have been attracted by the milk breath mm. of my milk. Cause moms used to put a, in the crib, put a milk bottle in my mouth and a pull under there so I could drink the milk, go to sleep. Mm. Right? And I guess the bottle spilled over with the milk dripping down my mouth. Mm -hmm. But the rat is attracted to the smell of the milk mm -hmm. and the fact that this is something there that's moving. Right. I mean, something there that ain't moving right, right. or can't mow and ain't, and ain't big. But anyway, he jumped up in the crib and went to feasting on me. But from what they told me and the way that the wounds that I received was all on my arm and that's what I was fighting with. Wow. You know? But look, this is a, right on. Just get right on. But he's a fearless little beast. Mm, you know, right, usually, it's, yeah, because usually when a rat see movement of a, a human, they disappear. Right, right. But this is a baby, me, a human, and I can't move. The only thing I can do is swing that little arm, but he bite me. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But he bite me. And fearless, the mother ain't run. You know, and the only thing I can do is fight and cry. But moms said she got up thinking it's feeding time early in the morning. I think it was about five or six o'clock. I don't know. Mm. But she said she thought it was my feeding time. And she heard an unusual cry. Not the cry like, I'm hungry. Ah, I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry. Come on, feed me. No, she heard like, 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 like a like, day. Like, ah, help. Like, help. Like, help. On the real. And she got up, and then she looked in the crib, so and seen a, a foot long rat. Now I ain't, I don't, I'm only two feet. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm still 24 inches. I ain't even 36. I ain't even three feet yet. Right, right. If I'm not tall, right. Because I understand I was 10 pounds and about 22 inches. Mm. You know, so in three months' time, you yeah, a little bit, right. yeah. And she just went hysterical. She couldn't fight the rat, couldn't pick me up, didn't get me out the crib or nothing. Mm. But she hollering. I'm crying and fighting. But she hollering hysterically. And a brother named Horse lived right across the street from us, was going fishing early in the morning. Mm. And he heard the old earth crying as she was. And she knew he knew the family. And he knew something was wrong. He know my that my pops wasn't in there killing my old earth the way she's screaming. Right, right. But it seemed like somebody killing her or somebody being killed. So he rushed in there and banged on the door. And old earth couldn't even go to open the door. Wow. She couldn't, didn't pick me up, didn't fight the rat out. She was in shock. She was in shock, hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. And horse, serious, horse big mother, he kicked the door down and came up in there and looked at her and looked at what she was looking at. And she looking at me and then he see the rat. But he don't go to pick me up. You know what he did? He went and got a broom. But I think he, my mother said that he smacked her to keep her quiet. I don't know. It's faith, it's, it's fuzzy. But, they, but, I, but I think he smacked her to calm her down and keep her quiet or find out what was going on. I don't remember really, really. Right. All right? But I know he. It, she said he went and got the pops and her. Said he went and got the broom. Right. Came back and beat the rat oh. out of the crib. The motherfucker's still there. Big ass man. And he had to beat him out the crib. And then moms, he picked me up mm. and hit, hit me with moms. Blood and everything. I guess he must have wrapped me up or whatever. Right. And took me to the hospital in his car. And you got the scars to remember. Yo, to the, to the blind, shit. And they told me yeah, ever right. since I could remember. 
Look, look how big that is. Now imagine that's on a little baby's arm. Right, right. That grew with me all my life. Look at there. They go another one. They go another one. And there's one here. That's from elbow, from wrist to elbow. Bam, 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 bam. And it's from a rat. From a, 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 foot, a foot long rat biting me. Not gnawing this mother. Mm. He was biting me. And I'm fighting. I mean, naturally, instinctively, I'm fighting. I don't even know how to throw a jab. Right, right, right. You know, but look, I know how to do this. You know, you know, ah, you know how baby do it. Ah. Right, right, right. And right. I guess I was doing it with one because I didn't hook off on him. Bang! Right. You know, I probably, I might have hooked off on him because I, I, had, I, I developed a natural hook. Ain't nobody taught me no hook. <laughs> no, hook. It just came natural. It huh? just came natural. Wow. wow. I might have hooked off on him. Come to think of it, I never even thought about that. Right, right, right. I might have hooked up on it. I, I you like three months old like that. I, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So it was like during that time, it was like a slumlord, slumlord. Yeah, it was, kind yeah, because because the condition of the house, like it was, a, they, the doctor said it was a miracle that I survived because mm. they said ten thousand babies got bit in New York. Ten thousand babies. Ten thousand. This is in 48. They didn't have all that exterminating stuff and rats right. was living with us. Right. In the ghetto. It's part of the part in, of the house. In the ghetto. It was part of the house. In the ghetto. And they wasn't they didn't have that real sanitary uh garbage uh disposal process that they got today. Mm. You know, you bag it up and all that and they get collected and all that. Nah. Right, right. In the back of uh, our house, in the back of our window in the tenements. Everybody used to throw garbage in the basement. Mm. And it was piled up down there to the first floor. Damn. And we lived on the first floor. Damn. And the basement basement was sub. Like under this floor, right, right. it's a basement. Mm. Okay, in our tenement, it was a basement. Right. And it had a courtyard for the exposure of air windows. And you could see the people next door and all that. But it was so much garbage piled up in the back. Up to the first floor. Damn near up to the first floor. We lived on the first floor. Right. Wow. So it was easy for them to get in the house. But they said, uh, when they showed it in the papers, and my pops... This is in the papers. It, it, was, it, yeah, it, was, it was highly re reported, widely reported, because of the fact that I survived a vicious rat attack. And it was a foot-long rat. They didn't see it. But the description of... What horse gave up, what my moms gave up, what the land on them and the people in the neighborhood gave up. This was a beast. This was a foot long motherfucker. And I'm, I ain't over 24 inches. Right, right, wow. So he damn near as big as me. Right, right. right. Half your size. At right. least half my size. Yeah. So I'm fighting a dog, mm. a cat, shit like that size. Comparatively. <coughs> Comparatively, excuse me. Mm. And. The press was I was in uh, I was in the magazine section of uh the Daily News color pictures early right, right, in forty eight. Right. I was in the magazine of which Willie Mays was on the cover and I was in the back section of the pet magazine. That was the name of the magazine. Mm -hmm. They showed me all this. And they even went to what school I was gonna go to mm -hmm. and showed the school. They showed my godfather, his name was George, an old dude that used to have a concession stand for the Icy's. Mm -hmm. He had the old style Icy's where he shaved the ice, right, right, put it right. in the cup, put the flavor on it. Mm -hmm. That was my godfather, George, and they showed him. Mm -hmm. And then they, there's a picture that I've seen of me, my mother, and my sister Joyce in the hospital, Harlem Hospital, and we sitting on a bench waiting for me to be treated. And I'm buck naked. And you can see the holes on me, and I'm still crying. And I, my, 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 I mean, why, I'm, why are we waiting? They supposed to be treating me. She said, No, they was just waiting on something bullshit. Wow. And yeah. That was a, that was the conditions of the time. That was condition of you had wait, to wait. Wait, wait, wait. No matter what. No matter on. what. The paperwork, whatever. I had to wait. And then another picture. I was in a like incubator joint, and you can see that they apparently. Clean the wound, mm -hmm. and now I'm in a little 
crib, not an incubator. A little, it was a little hospital bed, right. but it was plastic on the side, as I remember. Right. And I'm there, and you still can see the holes. They hadn't really treated the holes. Mm -hmm. They preened them, right. but they ain't put no bandages on them. You know, and you can see the holes bad. You see how that is? Yeah. And I'm looking at this. I'm saying, damn, why they still ain't treat me? They taking pictures and shit. Wow. Yeah. This is what the Daily News or the, 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 the news of that time. The news, I, the news I don't know. Of that time. Don't I don't know. know. I ain't see. It. I didn't know any Daily News. I know right, the right. news. Right. So and I said the, Daily the, News. They kept the newspaper. From yeah, they that kept time. the clippings and all that. Right. 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 Yeah, right. they kept the clippings because it was. I mean, it was big and. They never received no publicity of that nature before. Right, right. You know, so it was like, you know, you keep scraps and shit like that. But I seen that, they showed it to me. And, and that, was, that was big. Because they said a thousand babies had died right, right. By of, of, of the nature of the attack that I received. Wow. You know, multiple uh, wounds. I had multiple wounds. Wow. That's... Babies might have got bit. And they ran off one wound. And there was no such thing as suing the landlord. Yeah, was suing my pops sued. Oh, is it pops did sue? Yeah, right? but but see, pops was an entrepreneur, and this came up when I got 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Like no, I was told at four years old, pops got a brand new car, and I never forget this. The car was a 19, I mean a 1954. Uh, Oldsmobile a Super Rocket 88 it was one of the newest cars on the market because it had full inter inter inter, inter strip how you say that shit uh, full inter functioning that's the best way I can explain it and it had air condition. Right. Maybe the cars, the first time they had cars, air condition was in 54. Oh, right. huh. And Pops had one. Everybody else was getting Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. All the money men in the neighborhood was getting Cadillacs. Right. Pop got him a air conditioned joint. And when he first got it, he put me and my brother and family in the car, but he put me in the front seat with him and put me on his lap mm -hmm. and told me, you brought this car. Oh, okay. But look. Wow. He let me steer it, and he had his foot on the pedal, and I rolled it around the block on 46th Street. And that's from the suit. That was from the suit. Oh. I don't know this. You don't, at the time, you didn't know it. Right. right. When I get uh, 16, that's when you, and, you, you and me and Pops came back from Florida, mm -hmm. the feds the fed chased him out of New York mm -hmm. for seven years. Mm -hmm. He ran the statute of limitation. Right. His, pops, his partner got... 35 to 50 years, Pops mm -hmm. disappeared on their ass. <clears throat> and that's when I went to Florida with him. Mm -hmm. But when he came back in 65, he invited me to the bar. It was called the Harlem Gardens on 146th Street, 8th Avenue. And I had a gin and coke with a lemon twist. And he liked the fact that I ordered my own drink and knew what I wanted, mm -hmm. a gin, and coke <laughs> with a lemon twist. 16. 16. 16. 16. I was quality. quality. Yeah, right. I, I had knowledge. And we right. talked about that too. But anyway, I told them what my moms told me because my mom, because I asked my moms as I grew up, Mom, if I got bit by a rat, where's my money? Hmm. She said, You got money, but your pops took it. Oh, wow. And I said, Well, how much did you take? She said, $8,000. I'm 16. From three, or either one, from the age of one to 16, that would accumulate it, right, right. occur it to dollars, depending on the interest. Right, right. But anyway, it was $8,000. And me and Pops, when I told Pops with it, you know what he told me? No, son, it was only $90. $90. That's what he said. I said, Dad, oh, how you going to let them give you $90? Right, right, right. How you gonna let them give you ninety dollars for attacking your baby? For t yeah, you know. But he said, no, son. It was only ninety. Your mama don't know what she's talking about. Right. Peace. Peace. Your, your mama don't know what she's talking about. I said, nah, I ain't going for that. Mom know what she was talking about. Dad was straight up lying. You took that money, cause pops. You know, what pops used to do. He had schemes. 
that he used to tell my sisters that if you ever slip and fall, lay there till I come. <laughs> we're going to get that money. He knew, he knew how to he get it. He knew how to get it. Get his, get his my money. brother got hit by a car one time. Pops got that money. Pops got that. Pops knew how to get that. So I knew he schemed that. Wow. Yeah, me and my sister always talk about that. If Mega did this.